My name is Dr. Javana Rackery. I am the chief radiologist at the Women's Center at the Washington Health Systems. I came here 21 years ago after finishing my specialty training in women's imaging uh, from McGee Women's Hospital in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today I'd like to talk to you about uh, mammograms and their role in detecting early breast cancer. Women should start getting their mammograms annually at the age of 40. Women always ask me, when do you stop mammograms? And my answer to them is, you don't. They should continue getting mammograms as long as they are still in good health. We offer a 2D mammogram as well as a 3D mammogram here at the Women's Center. I would recommend a 3D mammogram. A 3D mammogram, also known as tomosynthesis, is a, are multiple images put together to create a 3D image of the breast. Uh, the 3D image of the breast makes our reads more accurate. Also, studies have shown that 3D mammography has increased the detection rate of small breast cancers as well as decreasing recall rates. Decreasing recall rates mean coming back to the center to get more additional imaging. That also decreases anxiety for the patients. So another diagnostic tool we use at the Women's Center is breast ultrasound. Um, why do we not use breast ultrasound as the front line for screening? It cannot pick up small breast cancers that screening mammography can. Screening mammography is still the gold standard for detecting early breast cancers. However, breast ultrasound is a useful diagnostic tool to further characterize lesions that we are seeing on your screening mammogram, uh, such as whether the lesion is solid or cystic. Screening mammography gives a very small radiation dose. We are exposed to background radiation daily. The screening mammogram equals approximately seven weeks of background radiation. The benefits for detecting early breast cancer far outweigh the risks of the small radiation dose given by the mammogram. In a case of an abnormal test result from your screening mammogram, you'll be called back to the Women's Center for additional testing, such as additional mammographic images and or ultrasound. Approximately 10% of the screening pool gets called back, and the majority of that 10% callback are usually okay, either representing cysts or dense breast tissue. When you come back for your callback and your evaluation, there will be a radiologist on site to look at your images and discuss with you the findings and recommendations. If you have any additional questions about our mammography services at the Women's Center, go to our webpage whs.org slash Women's Center.